We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and our motorhome Rennie and together we are the Search 365. Welcome to episode 4 of our Northern England tour. Still raining. <laughs> Just doing some chores, filling up the water, getting rid of our waste. It's quite a cool motorhome service point here. Um, weather's looking good for the next few days so this is hopefully, fingers crossed, the last day of poop weather and then we'll be able to get out and enjoy some sunshine. Sean winding up his massive hose. <laughs> Like you look like a serial killer. I am a serial killer. What? Cornflakes? <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Bran flakes. I can kill a bowl of bran flakes like in nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so we all topped up. We just go and see the bog. Yes, but we can't do that here. So we've got to find somewhere else to do that. Fair enough. Let us be off. Let's go. The next day we had a lazy start enjoying our secluded pitch. We even managed to do a little photo shoot of Sean in his new Search 365 merch. The Copper Main Valley Walk starts at Coniston Village. There is a mile long gentle climb alongside the stream Church Beck into the Copper Mines Valley. So today we've just headed out on a little hike, hopefully not too far. Um, hopefully to find a waterfall, but we'll let you know if we find it. It's pretty dry, or been pretty dry, so there's not huge amounts of water around, but we'll see. See if we can show you a nice waterfall. This is basically along the bottom of the, one of the biggest hikes in this area, which is Old Man of Coniston, but we're not gonna go up that far. We're just going to go and see if we can find this waterfall and then head back into town or well, back to the van for a rest today. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can find.
Ruskin Museum in Coniston Village tells the story of Coniston's history and would definitely be worth a visit to learn about its copper mine past before heading up the valley on this walk. The old mine manager's building is now a youth hostel surrounded by industrial relics of its mining past and makes a spectacular scene as you enter the valley. On the way back down, you are treated to pretty views over Coniston Village and the lake. So let's give you a quick tour of the Coniston Coppice Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Access is down a B road which is narrow in places and probably best approach from the south. On entry there is a large reception area and a queue system for booking in. There is also a large motorhome fill up and waste area before you enter the main security barrier. The pictures on this site are not laid out traditionally, so some patience is required to find the right pitch for you. We would suggest booking a pitch with an awning for any vehicles over six meters, because most of the non-awning pictures are quite small. The facilities are great. There's several toilet and shower blocks, lots of water points with bins and recycling, laundry facilities and there's even a bike and dog wash. At the bottom of the site there's an access path which takes you down towards the lake through a gate. Go through the Coniston Hall campsite and then down to the water's edge. From the reception building of the Caravan and Motorhome Club site to the water's edge is about a 10 minute stroll. Bearing in mind it's all downhill on the way to the lake so it's all uphill on the way back but most people should be able to manage it. The site takes caravans and motorhomes and a few tents. They also have some very nice glamping units for hire too. We found this site to be the perfect stop to explore the local area. time on episode 5 of our Northern England tour. 
We head to Keswick in the north of the Lake District, on the shores of the beautiful Derwent Water, 